Scientists crack open a moon rock that waited a thousand years in the desert to be discovered. The moon. This round, gray, celestial body inspires some kind of emotion in all who gaze upon its splendor. Whether it's awe from our space neighbor looking extra gigantic during a blood moon, or confusion when this nightly visitor shines bright in the vast blue sky of the daytime, any way you look at it, the moon is a pretty cool thing. So when a rock from our only natural satellite finds its way to Earth, people tend to go a little wild. After all, we haven't been to the surface since 1972. There's a lot to learn about the moon's face. Still, few chunks have ever told us as much about our universe as one moon rock that waited over a thousand years to be cracked open. One of the largest ever moon rocks, or lunar meteorites, if you want to be fancy, to ever smash into the Earth is Northwest Africa 5000. NWA 5000. But don't be fooled by the boring name. This meteor, as scientists found, has a lot to offer. NWA 5000 is 25 pounds. Imagine that hurtling out of the sky. In July 2007, the rock was discovered in southern Morocco and was described as possessing a large cuboidal shape. Sounds gorgeous. The object's bigger than anything from NASA's own personal rock collection probably having come from a part of the part of the moon astronauts haven't yet explored. Houston, is that jealousy we're sensing? Well, wait until you see the price tag. Now, this slice of the big meteorite is up for sale in the RR Auction Space Exploration Sale, where it's projected to go for at least $250,000. Yes, this moon rock is amazing, but why is it fetching such a high price? After the stone was discovered by the Moroccan group in the Western Sahara Desert, Adam Hupe, shown here on the left, a computer engineer and meteorite collector, was the first person to examine the find. See, Adam knew many mineral and fossil traders in the area. They'd give him a call whenever they found something particularly special. He'd bought a few items from them in the past. An NWA 5000 was something special. So special that Adam refused to share how much he spent to acquire the meteorite. The most he would offer is, you could buy a house. We're guessing a very nice house. He understood this meteor better than others. One of the most special features of NWA 5000 and the main reason it was going for such an immense price tag was its wholeness. Many times meteorites disintegrate when they enter Earth's orbit. Not NWA 5000. It remained intact during its crash landing. Others searched for more than a decade to find any chunks that may have snapped cleanly from the stone. But none have been discovered. Plus, this big rock was old. It laid in the Saharan sand for a thousand years, which allowed it to adjust to the Earth's landscape. This gave the rock added protection against the elements and made it more resilient. Adam eventually made the decision to slice the enormous lunar rock into smaller samples. A big reason for this was definitely so he could recoup what must have been an enormous investment. But he had other reasons. He also wanted to send pieces to researchers so he could learn more about NWA 5000. Now a much wider audience could see this one-of-a-kind geological spectacle. What researchers learned from the meteorite was invaluable. When the rock was cut, scientists were able to get a much better view of the inside of the stone. NWA 5000 may have been sitting in the desert for a thousand years, but inside it was holding something much more exciting. The metal within was four and a half billion years old. It's also filled with iridium and is the highest naturally occurring iridium-rich metal ever studied by scientists. This discovery led scientists to another interesting find. NWA 5000 is likely a smaller piece of a much larger meteor that at some point embedded itself into the moon. The meteorite eventually broke off and traveled to Earth by itself. Kind of sad, but really cool. Besides being scientifically relevant, this material is incredibly beautiful to look at which brings a higher value to full slices versus end cuts. Makes sense, middle bread is better than end bread. Now, there are seven complete slices of NWA 5000 in existence. The slice sold at auction was the Perigee, which was about the size of a salad plate. At $250,000, it would be a very pricey salad plate. It weighs about a pound and a half and is only one third of an inch thick. This slice is the largest in the collection and is currently in Adam's possession. He won't get to keep it for too much longer, though. I tried not to get too attached to it, says Adam. 
Don't worry, Adam. Another rich person will be enjoying your precious moonstone in no time. Still, he wouldn't be completely deprived of his meteor. An end cut is in the Yale Peabody Museum of Natural History. This is the largest intact section of the stone. Before Adam had cut the rock, he paid an artist to sculpt an exact model of the meteorite. The keepsake was important. He'd seen meteor fragments change the way we thought about space before.